So welcome everybody to the second part of the video. So to, I'm going to show you the codings of my program of the robot. So here it is the coding of the Raspberry Pi. So when the Raspberry Pi pin equal to 11, so you have to put this as true, true and true and true. This is for the Raspberry Pin 11 and the Raspberry Pin 3 and the Raspberry Pin 12. So you have to set all to true. And then when you set all to true, that is these three pins, you will go on to an Arduino here. And then on the Arduino, the Arduino will take necessary action to make these two motors here. You see these two motors here and here to move. Okay, so as you can see here, if everything is high, high, high here, you have to move forward and give a delay of 3 seconds because in Arduino, the seconds, the delay is counted in milliseconds. So you can see that LS equal to pin 7, ARS equal to pin 9, and CS equal to pin 8. And you can see that these three pins are plugged into are plugged into nine, eight, and seven. Okay, so so yeah, let's continue. As you can see here, the forward here, the forward you will make it move forward. And what I'm going to show you is that I'm going to show you what forward basically is. Forward is basically a forward function. So I'm going to show you the function of forward. So here you go, function of forward. So it will move forward if the L1, L1 I'll show you there, is 5. If L1 equal to 5 and L2, that is 3, equal to high. Okay, L1 equal to 5, it must be equal to 0. And L2 must be equal to, to high, that is 250, to move, okay? So this is how it moves. So basically, if one pin is 0 and the other pin is 1, so you will move forward. And if the first pin, that is 5, is 1 and the other is 0, it will move backward, okay? The motor will move backward, okay? This is how you make it move forward. This is the same to the right motor here the right motor as you can see they have they have this pin here this number this number here so they will basically move forward so now i'm going to show you the right the right how you turn right so this is the programming for right i have not used three pins because it is better so when it is moving to the right, so you have to set pin 11 to... Okay, just give me a minute and focus on this. He's not focusing, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, so pin 11 to 1 and pin 12 to 0, that is basically 1, that is basically true and false. Okay, so when you do this, you will turn right. And as you can see, to turn right, you have to like set everything to zero and only allow the one motor to turn that is the left motor when you allow the left motor to turn it will turn right because the left motor when it that will show you when the left motor turn here imagine this turn this will be still this will turn and then you will get this movement of turning okay this is how you turn right okay this is a program this is a this is a the function right you can see here if equal to low and then if equal to yes if equal to low and if equal to uh right if ls equal to low or nas equal to high then you have to turn right and then give a delay of one second okay i just remember you that ls and os are these pin here pin 7 9 and 8 that is here pin 7 9 and 8 7 9 and 8 and these and these like 
will take necessary action when prompted to do so by the Raspberry Pi. So uh, just to sum up is that the Raspberry Pi sends signals for from by these these wires here onto the Arduino. The Arduino then decide whether it have to move the move the motor forward or there or there or backward. Okay. This is how it goes basically. Thank you for your attention.